Hello Army of Light, Earth Division. It's Shauna L. Francis. Today is January 3rd, 2023. And I thank you all so very much for joining me for today's Ascension Daily Update. And welcome to any of you who are new to my channel, new to my videos. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's a long drawn out story here, a long narrative. There's a lot going on, a lot of changes in the last two to three years with my channeling and with these missions and all of us coming together like this. So <clears throat> I'm really glad that you're here and you're hanging out and we are just, we're moving along uh, together, this army of light, this beautiful star family, really marching in tandem with our corresponding star family who is on the other side of the veil here, our galactic family here. Many of us, again, being from the Galactic Federation of Light, we've got this incredible family at the GFL and they have been working with me now for several weeks talking about the reptilian influence here, the negative reptilian influence here on the planet. We are doing this um, like interview style. This is how the information's coming through. I have many different beings coming through. I'm channeling them. I'm having conversations with them. I'm seeing some visions, feeling a lot of energy coming through this group here. Um, and it's just, uh, it's going to be one long connected story by the time it's all said and done. <clears throat> and, and what did they say here? This will be kind of the lo largest repository of information on this topic on the planet when, when I'm all done, whenever that's going to be. Um, so we're digging in here. I think this has got to be like number 100 of our Ascension Daily Updates. I've missed a few days, so it's been a little longer than 100 days. <laughs> but 100 of these, it's a lot. That's a, it's a lot of information. It's a lot of, a lot of love. You know, this is all representing love here coming from uh, these folks on the other side of the veil who really have our best interest at heart and are trying to help us. And we're going to talk a little bit more about this today and how this came down. Um, everybody, wow, white snow, huh? So making those connections with this being, an eighth dimensional healing healer being who has offered um, its services. It seems feminine, but I'm not sure. So it, <laughs> uh, its services to us um, through a body scanning and healing and then information. Wow, um, <laughs> it's just, this is just so magical. It's just so wonderful. Um, so, you know, I, I think I, I mentioned yesterday that I had had this being come in and take a look at a couple of family members. One of them was my son. And I've asked him if I can share some of this information that came through for him, just in case it's helpful for, for you guys. Um, my son will be 32. This is my oldest son, will be 32 in January and uh, he's had what he believes to be long COVID for several months now, uh, long COVID. And the way that he talks about that is uh, just a drain on his energy, a drain on his system, being tired, getting winded easy, um, wanting to sleep a lot. Um, and he's really getting tired of it. It's really, it's really wearing on him, um, kind of this chronic uh, heaviness and, not having energy, like getting through the holidays was even really hard with all the different um, gatherings and dinners and, you know, um, putting on that face and being happy and joyful and all that. So it's really kind of taking a toll on him. So I'd asked for help there. And White Snow came back with all kinds of information. Um, they called it out as depression and anxiety. For, as the main two culprits here, a depression being caused by chemical imbalances in the brain because of his use of melatonin to help sleep. Melatonin being the biggest culprit here in terms of taking that as a sleep aid for many years, probably a very long time. He hasn't been doing it much lately, but it has been a, a big staple um, in his life and has helped him sleep and helped him with, um, you know, anxiety and stuff. So. Melatonin, I did a little bit of research when White Snow had brought this up. Um, believe it or not, it's, it's produced out of the pineal gland. This, is, this comes from the pineal gland. So, you know, and we haven't really studied the use of, too much studies anyway, of the use of melatonin as a sleep aid, you know, taking that as a supplement. Um, so initial studies have shown that it's 
not harmful, but this being at least is linking this to um, chemical imbalances in the brain with the critical chemicals such as melatonin <clears throat> and um, uh, and that he should stop taking melatonin altogether and allow the body to heal itself because it's it will be able to regenerate and restart you know uh, the production of these chemicals in a more natural form um, they also he also has done a lot of um, He's not a big coffee drinker, but for caffeine and such, especially younger, he was doing a lot of these energy drinks and they are just jacked full of B complex vitamins, B vitamins. So White Snow brought that up as being a problem as well. Oh, too much of like synthetic or not good quality vitamin Bs in the system that needs to be cleared out. Um, what else? Getting some fresh air. They talked about diet a little bit. Um, taking care of his body, really loving his body and, know, body and knowing that everything is going to be okay. So while all this is going on, he's also had some really incredible visions. He's recently got, gotten into meditation. Um, he, he had a really stressful job for about six years that just sucked the life out of him. I um, mean, he had a really hard time trying to figure out how to deal with stress stress and the pressures of that job. And he'd worked his way up in this company very, very quickly. Well, he quit this job a few months ago just, out of, just from extreme burnout um, and has been trying to get healthy ever since, but this long COVID situation's been taking a toll. Now we're finding out a little bit more um, and he's going to be seeing a doctor, naturopath probably, and get some blood work done and, and get some of these things figured out. But, oh, the other thing uh, White Snow said was intermittent fasting may help with his symptoms as well. Um, but anyway, these visions. <clears throat> he said the other night he, kind of between waking and sleeping while you're going to bed, he had seen himself in a grassy field um, and he was buried um, kind of laying down flat, but his whole body was immersed under this mud and grass. Um, only his head was up above this mud and grass, but he was able to pick himself up and stand up and he looked around in this vision and he sees a mud hut ahead of him. And it said it was perfectly oval and it had windows around the top, but it looked like it was made from mud. So he's able to go into this place, kind of brush the mud off of himself and there was a soft glowing light in there and a wooden cot. So he laid down on the cot where he said he thought some energy work was being done on him. <laughs> and like yesterday or day before yesterday, he in this vision, he comes out of this mud hut and he sees himself in front of him, a perfect carb carbon copy of him looking at him. And he had just gotten out of this mud and is standing there in front of him. Well, he said his basic instinct was to go and just hug this being, hug himself. So he hugged himself. He said they merged as one. And then he went back and laid down again on the cot. And he said he just felt so much better, like all, like everything was vivid and he had some energy and he felt so alive with that experience. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, you know, I really do think that both of my boys are light workers. Um, my oldest here seems to be I'd say activating, you know, an awakening. Um, they all know about my videos. They know I'm talking about the negative reptilian influence. I clue them in. I don't think they watch my videos, but um, I do try to keep them in the know of what's going on with me. And I'm just, I'm starting to see these, these changes happen. So, wow, you know, um, it's an incredible time right now. The, the veil is thin, these energies coming onto the planet. I know so many people who are just in a lot of chaos right near and right now and a lot of fear. Um, so, um, you know, we can, we'll take all the help we can get, right? <laughs> anyway, so that's my story about white snow in there and my son. Um, hope everybody is able to connect with that being if you so desire and get some good information back or feel it or start feeling better. Okay, Galactic Federation of Light today going in down uh, down the elevator today and um, a, a coming out on the first floor there's so much activity and merriment and it just seemed like really light and a lot of activity going on so it had a really good feel to it so i sat down and i said is there anybody who'd like to come forward today and yes there was a being and i said please have a seat 
So I always just tune in and try to get acclimated and see what I can feel and what I can see. <clears throat> so the vision starts coming in of a really large being in black. It reminded me of our cyborg friend um, who was in that black kind of um, what looked like a black suit, but actually he turns out he's not human, okay? <laughs> um, but this being was ginormous, just huge. Um, not as big as the other 40 foot guy, I'd say about 15 feet and very much, I mean, looked like a, like, like a robot of some kind, a really big chest, um, uh, again, another, you know, helmet, but with, with kind of mirrored, with a mirrored frontal plate on it, um, really tall, really big, really actually quite menacing. I was just, wow, it looks like it came right out of a, an Iron Man movie or something, a Marvel movie. Uh, so, but lots of love coming through, just felt that energy. So, so it's so interesting to see that vision, but then feel that love. Because in these situations, when we see beings like that, it's always kind of a fear-based thing. Like that's the bad guy out of our Hollywood movies. <laughs> so we gotta let go of all that. I'm like, wow. Um, I said, thank you so much for joining me today. You, you look quite menacing actually. And I chuckled. I said, I'm thrilled that you're here and I hope that I'm seeing you correctly wherever you'd like to start. And they said, thank you, Shauna. I apologize for my appearance if it's causing you any anxiety. I assure you that I am one of the most gentle beings as part of the Galactic Federation of Light. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's so nice to meet you. I hope I didn't offend you by that. Um, I said, it's great to be speaking with you. And I believe you when you say you're gentle. And they said, yes, thank you, Shauna. Reptilian stronghold, I'd like to dive in if you are okay with that. So we were getting right into this, right into this topic here. I said, certainly, um, just give me a moment. I gathered my stuff and I came upstairs and I sat down because it was just feeling a little bit noisy downstairs. There's some construction going on a few houses down. And so I gathered everything up and I came up here and got settled. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Thanks for your patience. Um, so I took another couple minutes to just relax, get settled and tune into the energy again. And he came back and said, thank you, Shauna, getting down to business. The reptilian stronghold on planet Earth. You'll continue to hear us refer to this as a stronghold, many tendrils, fingers digging deep into your flesh. It's a stronghold, it's a firm grasp. And it's been this way entrenched for thousands of years. Shauna, so you can imagine that dismantling this is going to take a real effort and a comprehensive plan, a multifaceted approach, all the while keeping humanity's hearts and light and well-being at the forefront of these processes. Processes? <clears throat> he said here, it's delicate. We do not rush into such things. We come at this with absolute love and hope that this can be an uplifting experience for those on the planet who are capable of and ready for feeling into the situation today. So I think a lot of us are there, right? Feeling um, like on some level, this information is uplifting because it is liberating. It is um, providing some real clarity around these conspiracy theories or these rumors or these things that we've heard about. Um, and you know, I think we're, we're getting the bigger picture here of why this is important. And he goes into this. As mentioned, as has been mentioned, the disclosure of negative reptilian stronghold on humanity is an act of love. It's an act of compassion. It is a gift being offered to humanity at this time in order to help give you the tools necessary to break free from this stronghold on your terms and step more fully into the light, which is your birthright. You cannot fight an enemy that you cannot see or perceive as stated previously. We are handing each of you a flashlight. It will be up to you what you do with the flashlight and what it illuminates. So there's a nice big pause here and I just felt my energy go much, much deeper. <clears throat> and I want to say like 
a while, like seven or eight minutes passed before, you know, I was kind of getting deeper into this state with this being and I'm, and I'm, I kind of snapped out of it a little bit and I said, thank you, you know, would you like to continue? And he said here, Shauna, as I was saying, the time is right for more of the reptilian disclosure, but it's also just impor as important to understand why this disclosure is necessary. So I just have taken this opportunity to reinforce these ideas. And I said, yes, that makes sense. Thank you so much. All right, so then we go extremely deep with the energy. Um, I'm getting pretty much lost in his field at this point. <clears throat> um, meaning like I am kind of letting go of where I'm at sitting here on my couch, like that becomes really, that just fades into the background and I kind of forget about that. And I'm really just in this field, just like I have been with a few of the other one of these folks coming through, just immersed in their field and just feeling this high vibrational love. Man, it just, it just gets, gets right into my soul. It's just, it's absolutely incredible. So <clears throat> while we were in this state together and it wasn't like we were talking, but he showed me that this big black apparatus that like his body is actually, he called it an exoskeleton that his, he's got a, and, and it is, it is a mechanical in nature, but he is a bi, a biological person being that lives inside the top part of this exoskeleton. I mean, it sounds like it's just right out of a, a movie here. So he, op, he, um, resides in kind of the torso and the chest and then he his head is within the head or within this helmet of this being and it's a big big being big broad chest like i said 15 feet tall like i um in this vision i stood there next to him i'm just looking up at him going oh my gosh you're so tall um but so gentle and so sweet so i you know i'd seen that and i just really kind of got a good look at him um <clears throat> so he he's got his own arms and legs his exoskeleton he but he lives inside of this thing and so he controls it by voice and by 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 thinking okay um and i just felt like i felt like too that we had gotten to that level of vibration that melchizedek always wants me to hit that's that really fine high vibrational hum that happens so i think we reached that together and you know, I'd say like 30 minutes had gone by and I'm like, wow, that was very beautiful. Thank you so much for that energy work. And he says, you're welcome, Shauna. As I said, I'm the gentlest giant here on the ship. You can call me Kor. And then he spelled it C-O-R, Kor. I said, thank you, Kor. And I'm really like out of it. I'm like, do we know each other? Do we know each other um, from my time on the ships? And he says, yes dear one we do know each other and i'm like oh it's so nice to get reacquainted and he's like yes it is and i'm like cor what else can you tell me about yourself and he said um not much to tell dear shauna i serve with the galactic federation of light and i've been here on one of their ships for as long as i can remember that's really all he said <laughs> he didn't want to tell me much i'm like okay thank you um, and then there was a nice big pause again I said is there anything else you'd like to speak about uh, in terms of the reptilians or anything else and at that point I just started feeling just this love coming right at my heart right at my my heart and I was just soaking it up and just like just blissed out in this field and I don't know, I don't know how much time went by, probably 15 minutes. I, it was like an hour and a half with Cor by the time it was all said and done. I'm like, how, how are we doing, Cor? I kind of checked in with him. He's like, wonderful, Shauna. And I said, I feel such love. And he says, yes, it's your birthright, Shauna. And I said, are you worried about me down here? And he said, no, not at all. It's the most amazing thing you've done. I'm so happy for you. And I was just, wow, thank you. I go, it just, it just feels so unreal. It feels so hard to, to believe that this is actually happening, that this is all real. It's just really, it's really tough. I said, I'm, I'm sitting here on my couch 
and this is all help happening in my mind and my field in my heart and my system you know even so it's still so hard to believe and he said yes I understand know that you are doing a beautiful job we've got full control of this <clears throat> you've got a grasp on what's happening here continue to open your heart open your heart up to us I know who you are and what you tr truly are and this will become so natural so effortless and here I just I started to cry I mean open your heart up to us so this is the other narrative really coming through in terms of all these weeks now with the Galactic Federation of Light and these interviews we're a few weeks into this aren't we guys <sighs> is this high vibrational unconditional love that really is is just a part of as big a part of the story as what they're bringing through through their words um, and feeling this love and knowing this love and connecting with that it's just it's just not something that we feel at on this planet very often so I don't know if it's just because of the density here or if it's the reptilian influence or or what it is but um, it just maybe it being a matter of 3d or 4d we're just we're not to that point so working with these five six seventh eighth dimensional beings feeling this love come through it is just I mean it just is so um, it's it's amazing it's um it's it's obviously i'm speechless here trying to even explain it hopefully you guys get a sense of this um or you felt it directly from your guides or through these messages or through the meditations that we've done anyway um i said thank you so much i said there are so many questions coming through about the reptilians <clears throat> and he said yes shauna that is good questions will never stop all in good time realizations will come questions will be answered knowing will set in I said wow well thank you so much for the beautiful energy work and all this love and it was so nice to reconnect with you in this way and he said you're so welcome Shauna such an honor to be in your field like that and to be sharing in this mission with you I said is there anything else and he says if, if you're feeling complete then we are good and I said, I imagine I can bring you back anytime. He's like, of course. <laughs> I said, okay, wonderful, thank you. So 90 minutes had gone by and, and Core leaves. And I took a quick little break. And uh, somebody new wanted to come through. All right, so tuning in, it was like a tap, tap, tap. Please have a seat. And then I always tune in. <clears throat> All I'm really seeing is like this film like this uh, dark film or something like this gray screen or something as I kind of look toward where the chair would be sitting so I didn't see any being sitting there or anything like that but I did I could see something going on there like something that was kind of like more of a dark cloud or something like a gray cloud um, and uh, the energy felt pretty intense actually coming from this being so I just I tuned in for maybe five minutes and I said Hello, are you here? Um, and if so, can you please introduce yourself? And they said, hi, Shauna, yes, can you hear me? I said, yes, I can, loud and clear. Thanks for coming in today. And they said, you're very welcome, Shauna. I said, can you please describe yourself? <laughs> and they said, Shauna, I am of the eighth density frequency as well. I am not in embodiment right now. I am presenting just as a bit, excuse me, bit of energy that can barely be perceived by you. All right, so white snow is all, also eighth density, not in embodiment, so I think that's why they said as well. I said, okay, that's great, thank you. I said, wherever you'd wanna begin. And at that point, um, energy shifted again, so I'm back in this field with this being, and I start, whatever that kind of cloudy screen, turn, it started to turn more purple. So I've started to see more purples and kind of more billowy, like cottony clouds um it's still still really i mean and actually the whole the whole desk and the chair and all that went away the whole thing went away and it was just kind of this stillness this blank slate um and i think 
again, maybe 10 or 15 minutes went by and it was just this energy work. I said, that just feels so beautiful. Thank you for the energy work. And they said, you're welcome, Shauna. Um, just part of the acclimation process as we dive deeper into this disclosure information, the energy work is helpful in that it opens your heart wider, it opens your consciousness, and it raises your vibration and your capacity for this information. So yes, this is so important. And I said, perfect. I said, well, wherever you'd like to go with this, just, you know, chime in whenever. Um, and I think, and I think like 20 minutes went by again. Um, and I just decided, you know, to ask, I, I said, well, do you, are we going to actually be speaking today or is this going to mostly just be energy work? <clears throat> um, and they said, thank you, Shauna, for this first session. I'd prefer that we continue with the energy merge as you call it. Oh, I'd called it an energy merge when I checked in. Um, this energy acclimation. I do have a lot to share with you and our time together will be easier and more productive if we can get our fields in, in better alignment. They said, this may take a bit of time. What would you like to do? So at this point, I was really getting hungry and I had to go to the bathroom. So I kind of was like, oh, I said, I said, for me, if we could do maybe just another 15 minutes, um, that would be great. I said, I'm, you know, yeah, what I just said there, <laughs> I need to get up and eat something. I said, maybe we could continue this after I get done eating. I said, what, what, what do you think? And they said, <laughs> Shauna, thank you for that. My preference would be to continue this work for about five minutes and then you are free to do what you'd like. And then I think we will, it would be best to pick up our conversation tomorrow when you're ready. I said, okay, that's great. Thank you so much for your flexibility. Um, yeah, that it turned into a, a longer session than what I had expected. So that was a, like two and a half hours today with these guys, really quite beautiful. Uh, and that was it. All right, well, that's a lot to share today. I thought this was gonna be a short video. <laughs> okay, teams, um, keep your questions coming and all your beautiful comments. Thanks for watching and liking and Thanks for believing me, you know, and believing in me. And, um, you know, just that by itself is, it just means it's all the difference that I have folks who are, you guys are, you're, you're, you're on board with this whole thing here with me. I, I so appreciate it. All right, guys, I will see you all tomorrow. I love you. Mwah.